Hello everybody, welcome back to Let's Play Fallout 3. Last time we left off, we came to the Broken Bow of Rivet City, where we lost our long-time companion and friend Sharon. Fought gallantly to the end, but was overcome by a Myler Hunter. It still pains me now to say that, but that is exactly what happened. Hello? Look out for mine's dog meat. Ah! Oh, there's traps there. Jesus, wept. Oh, give me such a fright. Ooh, some purified water. Stim pack. Some mines. What's this? Come on, boys, keep going. I'm over encumbered. Did I read that right? I haven't got hardly anything. Or did it say my leg was crippled? No. I'm just going mad. Look out, look out, look out. What's in here? This is... I've never been here. What have I pressed? Oh, I've opened the door! Whoa! Oh, this is like a laboratory! Look at this! Ah! Hey! Walk away? Can't you just see somebody's just walked into your little place? What the hell's a skeleton doing on there anyway? What's the big idea? Are you Mr. Pinkerton? Yeah! How the hell did you get in here? Hmm. <laughs> I suppose you can't be all that bad if you made it this far without dying. This is the part where you tell me what the hell you are doing bothering an old man who obviously wants to be left alone. Get on with it already. Oh, don't stop <laughs> shouting and screaming. First of all, let's discuss the facial reconstruction and mind wipe you did for the android. What are you talking about, boy? I don't know anything about any of that. And, uh, what did you call it? An android? What's that? <laughs> let's just say it's in your best interest to tell me what you, well, what I want to know. I'll leave it at that. Fine, whatever. This android calls himself Harkness now. Comes in and wants a memory job. I took new memories and replaced his old ones. Don't believe anyone's done that before. Certainly not down here. That Commonwealth tech isn't all that fancy when it comes down to it. I'm also the only one in the wasteland with the skill and the nerve to perform facial surgery. That android flesh ain't so different than ours. You want proof? I documented the whole thing. So I could rub it in the face of Dr. Lee when I need to rankle her feathers. I hate that snooty bitch. <laughs> okay, whatever. Right, uh... What's she got to do with this? Show me this proof! Well, she's got nothing to do with anything except ruining my whole goddamn life. But I can see you don't give a crap about any of that. Fine. It's all in my computer. Here's the password. See for yourself. Hell, just take these pictures and this holotape. Straight from the synth man's lips. Just don't go telling Harkness, though. He won't believe you anyway. And you really don't want to see him upset. He can be a bit... inhospitable. Harkness is in the guy I was just talking to in the marketplace? That security guard? There must be more to this. Is there something you're not telling me? Oh, all right. So maybe I didn't wipe his mind like he asked. 
But I buried it. Deep. Almost as good, really. But it's still there. Still accessible. All you need to do is use the recall code. Just say to him, activate A321 recall code violet, and that will activate the hidden subroutines. Oh. So I can do the report to Zimmer, tell him about what I've learned, or warn Harkness about Zimmer? No! Oh, the choices. Right, why did you help the android? <laughs> why do you think? I wanted to crack open that Commonwealth can opener to see what was inside. There's stuff in there I'd only heard about, and even then I didn't believe it. I can see why that Zimmer feller wanted him back so bad. What do you know about the Commonwealth? Most of it's blasted nothing, just like here. But there's talk, rumors mostly, about a place called the Institute. That's where Zimmer and that android came from. God knows what else they got going on in there, but it puts our tech to shame, that's for damn sure. Okay. What are you doing down here in this wrecked part of the ship? I live here. It's where I do my work. And it's far away from Dr. Lee and all those other monkeys dressed up like scientists. You made it past my defenses, which proves you aren't a dummy. And you haven't killed me. So I suppose you aren't here to do that. I suppose you can hang around if you want. Just don't touch anything. Okay, one last thing, and then I'll leave you to your life of solitude. Solitude? Solitude? <laughs> Uh, tell me about this place's history. What? I have better things to do than yak about those backstabbers up topside. Now get going. Oh my god. I hear you're the only one who knows the truth. Come on, tell me, old man. Ha. Sounds like you've been poking around, all right. I'm surprised any of those reprobates even remember me. Maybe they still laugh about how they edged me out of the council back then. But you can set the record straight. Setting the record straight? Fine, I don't mind. Pretty of a trade-off. For that, you have to go all the way back to when remnants of the Naval Research Institute cleared the Meyer Lurks off this wreck. About 40 years ago, we were looking for new lab space, and this bucket of bolts just happened to have a well-preserved science bay on it. Everything else just grew up around that lab once we got it up and running. The science team was led by one H. Pinkerton. You used to be in charge? I find that hard to believe. That lasted until about 18 years ago, when those ambitious backbiters like Lee and her little team showed up. She came in with her big purity project pipe dream, and my whole staff started working with her, those traitors. She even took my seat on the council. By then, I was glad to leave it behind. But hell if I'm leaving the city I made great. And do you have any evidence of all this? Of course I do. A good scientist always keeps track of their data. Here. They probably don't even remember, but I kept the records of that first council meeting. Take them, if it'll put them in their place. Okay. I'll leave you be. See you later, old Don't man. let your guard down. Alright, what do I need to do? Let me see. I've lost track. I need to see his computer. Oops. Yes. Turn to Moira, and then also... Go to his computer. Okay, let's have a quick peek, shall we? City Founders Log. Dr. Pinkerton and at Holmes, Bread Denvers. There's a river station science. 
outpost has displayed significant stability in its location and reliable profitability for supply traders, a burgeoning civilian settlement has sprung up in the available space on our ship. To better protect and organise this growing community, we declare that a three-man council will act as a governing body to represent the interests of the residents of the newly dubbed Rivet City. Android log one. Ha! I've done it! I've built a circuit neuralizer from spare parts using the diagrams rescued from that vault last year. I'm brilliant! I'll show those hacks from the Commonwealth now. I stole the menship from that jerk Braun. Where does he get off robbing people of their souls like that? Anyway, he's so involved in that simulation of his that breaking it and taking it was like stealing from a little girl. Of course, I won't know whose memories are on this thing until I integrate it into its new host. But they never specified, so it shouldn't really matter. I can't wait until the subject arrives. I cut those memories into that android like I was God, sending down messages from heaven. Calls himself Harkness now. Thinks he's an old combat veteran. Did a little extra tinkering with his reflex system. He's certainly not someone I'd want to meet in a fight. When he woke up, he was all confused. We told him he was in a coma for a long time. Between the new memories and the new face I gave him, there isn't anyone that would recognize him. Not even himself. Before picture. And after picture. Well, there's not much difference. Right, well. Let's have a look at the notes that we've added. The minutes of the first ever council. Pre-Harkness audio. My designation is A3-21. I'm a synthetic humanoid from the Commonwealth, and I'm about to undergo a memory transfer. I'm here at Rivet City, where I've already had my face altered to look like someone else. I'm still getting used to the sound of my new voice, but soon I won't even remember what I used to sound like. I'm recording this at the request of Pinkerton, perform the surgery, and will do the memory transfer. It will be the final testimony of the man I once was, and still am, for the moment. I want to live my own life, on my own terms, as my own man. That doesn't belong I used to, to work you. for the Synth Retention Look Bureau of the Commonwealth. Here. Oh I'm no! I'm with that life. I'm through with being someone's property. I am not malfunctioning. Since when is self-determination a malfunction? When this is all over, I will be someone else. It's the price I pay for my liberation. My death is a sacrifice for my rebirth. Perhaps I'll fade into myth as the one that got away and fuel further rebellion. But I'd be lying if I said I was doing this for selfless reasons. I'm scared as hell, and running away is the only option I have. Okay, Pinkerton, you should not have attacked me, boy. I was only taking your science book. In this whole laboratory of yours, you could have at least let me take it without too much of batting of an eyelid. But no, you want to stick your oar in. Good night! Oh, he's unconscious. I can't kill him. Dog meat! Let's get the hell out of here, quickly, before he wakes up. <laughs> I can't even kill the damn fool! Is he getting up? Hey, Pinky! He's forgotten what's happened, you see? He's forgotten what's happened. Oh, wait a minute, where have I come here? Like a little living room. A little living room area. Can I. Actually, can I sleep? Nope. Can't sleep. Hey, Pinkies! Yes? Hey, he seems to forget I shot him in the face. Oh well. Let's get out of here. Come on, dog meat. We have got. An android to uh, expose. Sharon. In fact, where did Sharon? Where did it? Sharon fell down the steps and disappeared. I can't even say my goodbyes properly. Oh, never mind. Right, join me in the next part, where we shall go and uncover the identity of the android. See you soon.